guys? It's your boy Ryan at Gear Fever. Today we're checking out the Maestro Arcus Compressor and Sustainer. Honestly, I love everything that Maestro is putting out. They have put out just an incredible new line of pedals. Um, they have, you know, just a legendary reputation and such an important piece of guitar pedal and guitar history. So for them to be back out and creating new stuff, I, I think is wonderful. And this is a compressor. They're kind of tackling all of the essential pedals in, it feels like in order. And once you get your first round of pedals, that's when you start to hear things about, hey, compressor is really good. Compressor is a great way to make you sound professional and make you sound next level. It will help your, your tone and your playing. It's one of those things that compressors kind of have this, I don't know, magical element to them. And then you get a compressor and then you hate a compressor because you don't know how to use it. Is that just me? Is that just my experience? I feel like I've heard that story a lot. Compressors can be very confusing. You don't really understand what, like inherently what a compressor does. And, but once you learn how a compressor works, it can be really, really great for you. There are incredible studio compressors and even pedal board friendly compressors that are out there that are still super confusing for the typical guitar player. What I love about this pedal is it takes out the confusion of typical compressors. It just gives you three knobs. Let's take a look at it. You have the sustain, uh, the attack, and the level. And you've got a switch for a high and low. I've always heard about compressors that one of the things that it does is it increases your sustain. But the way that you get an increased sustain in a compressor requires understanding kind of you know, the ratios and the threshold and, and how all of those things play with one another. But with this, it really takes out the guesswork of how that's gonna work. You have a sustain knob. If you want more sustain, push it up. If you want less, push it down. The sustain responds similarly to like a distortion pedal. With distortion and, and dirt, you get this natural compression that increases your sustain. And this compressor, when you push the sustain, you get a little bit of that distortion-like texture added. So you're not just pushing your sustain to be longer, you're also pushing your guitar a little bit too. We're gonna check this one out um, and kind of play through all of these knobs and the settings here so that you can hear it. But as always, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Please make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, all of that normal youtube -y stuff that would help me out a ton. And uh, yeah, this is Ryan. Good tones, good times. Let's dig in. Mm -hmm. 